Hi guys, welcome to the Chinese class here today. I'm your teacher, and I'd like to be called the Mamu more. I'm more like a friend to you on the way of your Chinese study. Here we are at the course Speak Chinese within five classes. No matter you are deeply interested in Chinese this language and its culture, or you wanna have a good trip here in China, or you wanna have some business with Chinese partner, or you wanna come to China for further study, or come here for your Chinese learning. Anyway. I'm here to help you. Let's start it. In this course, we are there are mainly divided into five videos. Each video, I will try to share some of the knowledge of Chinese phonetic, which is called pinyin. And then I will share some of the basic Chinese daily conversations with you. So after this course, you will be able to speak and read Pinyin and a little bit Chinese language. Okay, here we go. In the first three lessons, I'm going to tell you about. What exactly pinyin is, and you're going to practice pinyin with me. In the fourth and fifth lesson, I'm going to introduce some other rules and help you to distinguish those similar sounds. Anyway, I can't wait to start. And for the reference book, you may go for standard course for HSK one. Well, it will be totally just fine if you don't have it with you. HSK is the short form of Pinyin, the capital letter Hanyu Shui Ping Kao Shi, which is. The Chinese proficient test level one. Okay. Before we start our class here today, I'd like you to know about what the pinyin is. So, when I go to Indonesia. You will probably say, "Hello," or "Apa kabar" to me in Indonesian. So, I guess you have already know what is "hello" in Chinese. Yes, exactly. Ni hao. Ni hao. Okay, so now look at the sticker on the left side. Ni hao. There are two Chinese characters along with it. If we took them out, are you able to read them now? Probably not, right? Because You are not familiar with those Chinese characters for now. However, if we put those Latin letters above it, you might easily able to read out read it out. Ni hao. Ni hao. Okay, so we call those Latin letters with tonal marks. Pinyin. Pinyin.
So what exactly pinyin is? Pinyin is the process of spelling syllables. It's a Mandarin phonetic symbol of Chinese characters. Okay. In another word, if you are able to read pinyin, which enables you to read or type with your phone or in in the internet with the help of pinyin, and then you are able to look up the Chinese dictionary. What's more, you will be able. To read every single Chinese characters under the help of Pinyin. Now, let's look at this word, Ma, which means mother, Ibu, Mama, in English and Indonesian. Let's look at what's on the left side. Mo is what we call initials, shemu, and then we have ah, ah. That is called final. And don't forget the little thing above ah. That's the tone. So we put them together, mo ah, ma. It has formed a syllable. We called it pinyin. So some of you may ask me, how many sounds are there in Chinese, or in pinyin specifically? Okay, let me tell you. There will be twenty-one initials and thirty-eight finals. Twenty-one initials and thirty-eight finals. Let's take "ni hao" these two words, the phrase, as an example. Look at the map of all the initials and finals. You can easily find out "nu," "i." Ao, the initials n and h, the finals e and ao. So you may also ask, if we make every way possible, there will be almost eight hundred syllables. That's quite a lot. Is that true, Benar? Well, okay. I'm going to tell you that there are some of the finals and initials that could not be put together. Take b and e for example. There's no such a thing called b e b. Plus, h and the e could not be put together as well. There's no such a thing called he he he. So, after all those deductions, the combination of initials and finals altogether were about four hundred. There are about four hundred syllables. Sounds a lot easier, isn't it? However, don't forget we have another friend here. It's the tones. Well, it might be a little bit difficult for you at first, because there's no such a thing in Indonesian. However, it's quite easy. Please trust me, and let's see. Tone of marks. Look at the line down there and the B. Please raise your hand 
do as the bee does. Okay? So, let's say if you are going to see a doctor and the doctor is going to examine your throat, what would you say? Ah, uh, ah, uh, exactly. And for the second tone, this is a raising tone. Well, if you see me in the video, it's another way, like this, okay? And when you have a question, Bila ngamu ada agam pertanya, apa, what, right? So, the second tone is a, a, Now, let's look at the third tone. First, go down and then climb up in the halfway, just like a roller coaster. Ah. Ah. Last but not least, the fourth tone. So, let's just imagine if someone suddenly <coughs> hits you in the back, I'm sorry if I have scared you, then you will probably make a sound like, ah, yes, exactly. This is how it is. Ah, ah, going down, ah, okay. These are the four tones. Now, it's time officially to make a self-introduction to you. Look at my name, Li Jiachen. I intentionally use it to introduce the elements of pinyin. Look at the blue circle. These are called initial, or we call it shenmu. Shenmu. And then look at those red circles. We call them yunmu. Yunmu, which are the vowels. Then we have the tone. Look at those yellow circles above. Okay. Now, would you please read my name together? Li Jiachen. Li Jiachen. And the Chinese characters below are the Han Zi. Han Zi. Okay, so much for the introduction of pinyin. Now, it's finally the time to meet some new members of pinyin. Look at the map of initials. First, we're going to learn the four, first four initials. Bo, po, mo, fo. Look at your tongues. Those four initials are going to be pronounced with your two lips. So, put your upper lip and your lower lip together to make bopomofo. First, we have Bo. 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 
So, pull, close your lips, and then let the airflow rush out. Pull, pull. Now you try. Pull, pull. And then we have pull. So, pull is quite similar to the sound pull. However, it requires you a little more stress, and the airflow is stronger. It's pull. So, would you please take out one of your hand and put it in front of your mouth? Pull. Pull. You can easily sense the airflow is hitting your palm. However, when you are pronouncing pull. Or the airflow is much less strong. And then we have more, 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 more. More, 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 more. Okay, so when you are trying to use to pronounce more, you will have to close your lips together as well, and then pay attention. This is a nasal or nasal sound. So try to use a little bit strings. Through your nose,、hmm. and then with your lips, it's more, more, and of course, vibrate your vocal cord as well.、And、then we have four, 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 four. Okay, so four is a tiny little bit different from other three. When you are pronouncing four, use the upper teeth. To bite the inside of your lower lip, lightly. Four. Four. Now, let's play a small game. Magan dulu, it acts. I'll go make some acts for you, and you will have to read the pinyin inside of the app. Apa itu? Four, four. Very good. And then we have pull, pull. Good. Pull, pull. 
Very good. 很棒 Okay. Besides it, we are going to learn about the vowels or the finals. Today, we are going to learn the four six most frequently used single finals. A, wo, e, i, u, y. First. Let's look at this final. Ah,、uh, ah.、Uh, open your mouth and relax your tongue. Make it nicely and slowly. Ah,、uh, ah.、Uh. Now we can put them together after we have both learned. The finals and initials. They can make up like "ho a ba" and "ho a pa." The first word, "bo a ba," "bo a ba," means father. Then we have "ho a pa." Po a pa means to crawl. Ba is the initial, and a is the final. When you are pronouncing a syllable, try to pronounce the initial lightly, while the final fully and loudly. It's. Ba, ba. Now you try. Bo, a, ba. Bo, a, ba. Ba. Next one. O. O. Okay, so this is a little bit different from a.、Ah. You will have to protrude your two lips and then make it a circle. O. O. You can see o in the word ink. Mo o. More, more, all, more. You may also see it in the word Buddha. For, or, for, for, or, for. Now you try. Or, more, or, more. All four, all four. Next one. Uh. Uh. Try to produce the sound with the back of your tongue. Uh. Uh. It sounds like the word, the English word, bird, in British accent. However, the er here is much more shorter and lighter. Er.、Uh, as we talked about it before, the final er、uh, cannot be combined after for, for, more, for. However, the er itself can make some characters and syllables. Let's see the goose on the left side. It's called er, er. 
Okay. So, it's almost time for dinner. Have you makan makana yet? If not, you might feel a little bit hungry. Hungry. Uh. Uh. Hungry. You could say, "我饿了 means I'm hungry. You could also say, "你饿了吗 to ask a question, "Are you hungry?" Uh. 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 我饿了。我饿了。你饿了吗？你饿了吗 ？Now you try. 饿饿，我饿了。你饿了吗 ？Very good job. 很棒。Now we have 一。E. You can see it in the number satu. E. E. In the word hand. B. B. In the word nasi. Mi. Mi. Now you try. E E B M E. Very good job. 很不错 Next one. M M. So you will have to protrude your two lips and make it round. M. Some of you will make mistakes like this. However, it's not correct. You will have to protrude your lips and make a little bit of strings on the top of it. Okay. So, what's the word "lima" in Chinese? Yes, it's written on the left side. Wu 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 wu. You can see it in the word when you are going to refuse someone. Bu bu. And you may see it in the word fortune. Fu. Fu. Fu is something that Chinese people usually put up in front of their doors and windows when it's the Spring Festival. In Spring Festival, you will see. Fu, everywhere in every house. Last but not least, we have something called yu. So, to pronounce yu, there are mainly two steps. First, do you remember the vowel, the final, e. You aligned your two lips, and then put the tongue in the middle of your mouth. By the time you finished, e, hold your tongue still. Do not make any movement, and then protrude your lips like you are going to pronounce u. And make combinations with those two finals. There will be u, 
Remember, the key of pronounce correctly is that you should not make any movement of your tone. You can see the final u in the word ring, which is u, and the word ikan, which is u, u. Now you try. Now, here I'm going to tell you a useful tip about how you can type "u" in the keyboard. The only alphabet in Pinyin that is not or cannot be seen on the keyboard is "u." So you will have to insert "u" in a word file. You need to press Insert Symbol and then find it down below. U, U. You can also insert finals with tone in this way. Press insert and then symbol. When you want to type u to input a Chinese character, you should put v for u. For example, if you want to input the word green, le u lu. You should type I and the V, then choose the character. Hope the tip is useful to you. Now, since we have learned all those simple finals and the tone, please practice the tone by reading after me. Ah, 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 oh, 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 So today we have learned initials, bo, ko, mo, fo, and finals, a, o, e, i, u, u. Now, please read them carefully, and then try to remember as much as possible. Bo, ko, mo. For a o e i u u. In this part of video, we have learned what is pinyin, some initial final tones, 
and syllables that combine in Chinese. And of course, Bopomofo and Awoyimuyu. So much for the, this class. Thank you. See you in the next period. Hopefully, you will enjoy the song that I prepared for you, the Pinyin song, at the end of this lesson. 谢谢，再见。德里马卡西，三拜中巴。